You guys, it is like pitch black. And this is our later day. Good morning. It's still so dark out. And it's like later. It's like 6.30 in the morning. Well, well, it's daylight. Oh. Oh. Here we are. Wednesday and it's yes. Waits Day. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Wednesday, Waits Day. Oh my God. It's not rainy right now. Right, and it's supposed to later, right? Yep. Great. Yes, ma'am. Just great. No. Oh my gosh, I burnt my ear this morning on the hair straightener. And when it happened, I heard a sizzle. Yuck. I know. That's gross. And I didn't look at my ear because it just went numb. <laughs> mm. I know. And now it's starting to throb a little bit. So I'm like, I, oh shit. Burns are not fun. No, they're not. Not at all. At all. Not at all. But I have antibacterial cream at home. I have A&D ointment at home. You know, that A&D ointment, not enough people talk about that. <laughs> that. I don't know if it's just because it's like old school, but if you guys have like a burn or like redness on your skin or, you know, anything that like, like a bug bite or anything like that, A&D ointment really helps. It soothes the skin. It's soothing. Any yeah. type of burn. I heard like at a burn burn and like a lot of people said that yellow mustard works. Ew. Mm -hmm. Is it something you, draw? I don't know. If you have a burn burn, you go to the emergency room. But no, like, like say like you have like a pizza, like an oven burn or whatever. Right. You have it in there. Right. Somebody told me that a long time ago. Oh, I oh, personally mustard. have not ever tried it. There must be something but about not, the mustard it's okay, it's like, seed. It's the yellow mustard. Yellow mustard seed. And not like, you know, like you have your brown mustards or your honey mustard. Yeah, it's just the yellow mustard. Ooh, mustard. that's bright. And I just don't know why. Huh, uh, interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So, oh my goodness. I did laundry. Oh. I drank like four cups of coffee yesterday afternoon. Oh. So cold. Look at this man. Or woman. Running? What are you running for? Um. Something weird is happening. So, oh. Your lights are not very bright. No. Ma'am. Ma'am. Madame. So, I don't know if I should be calling the police. Oh, <laughs> the non-emergency. I don't know what's going on. So, there have been people, like, at, like, 10 p.m., skate, like, um, uh, skateboarding in the parking lot. That's not what I'm concerned about. I'm just talking about, like, activity. You know, there's been activity out there, right? Well, it's happened twice now. Once when I was awake and once when I was sleeping. When I was awake, I heard what's, and I had my blinds shut, but my window was open. And I'm just trying to think if there's a bush in front of my bedroom window or not. There is, there's a small bush in front of my bedroom window. So it could have been an animal, but I heard something like right by my bedroom window. And I was like, oh, that's weird. And then I kind of froze a little bit, like, is somebody standing there? And then, and I was in bed, so, and I was, I was, my face was towards the wall, so it wasn't towards the window. So it's not like I was gonna, you know, do a little mm -hmm. peek -see. I was like frozen. And then it happened again, and I don't know what time it was. I think it was like around 11 o'clock and I had fallen asleep, but I woke up and I had the feeling that somebody was standing right in my window looking in. 
like standing right there. And I, and I literally, I just froze. You know what I mean? And I like, like I was too scared to look out. I don't know. And I mean, I would look out, but I'm too scared to look out. <laughs> so I'll never know. Cause I'm too scared. But you know, like that feeling that you get, like when someone's looking at you, that's what I got. And it was eerie and scary. Oh, there's an ambulance. Oh, it's not taking off. Gold Cross. No, it brought not. somebody though. Yeah, it did. <sighs> Here we go. Another day, another dollar, another hoot, another holla. Yeah, it's hump day. Humpa, humpa, humpa. Oh, this week is going to go by slow. I feel it's because we took yesterday off. You know what I mean? And it was like in the beginning of the week. Yeah. They say that the colors are turning. It's yes. like peak, like to the northwest. Kiki poo. Mm -hmm. All the yellows and reds and oranges. That's what they're saying. Yeah. Good time to go to High Cliff. Well, maybe not yet, though. Oh my god. Oh shit. Yeah. I know. What's happening this weekend? Anything? I can't remember. The last weekend of September. Oh my god. September really flew by fast. It did. It really went fast. Unfortunately. Like, because I can remember being bummed that summer was done. And then it was like, wait a minute, now it's almost October. Like, that's crazy. Know, fall is just slipping away. Fall is in the air. It's slipping away. Everywhere means. you look, fall is in the air. I could paint a book. <laughs> da, 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 da. Your eye is funky. Burning. My God, Judy. They that. both are, but my right one's worse. Ooh. That seems to always be the one to get you, Judy. That right eye. And you've been checked for the glaucoma? Yeah. Yep, nothing. And the cataract? Got nothing. Okay. Oh, we're here. We're here. We are here. We've arrived. We're yeah. here. We arrived. We're ready. Mm -hmm. Did they paint that wall green? I don't ever remember that wall being green. Inside? Do you? I just didn't really even pay attention. Oh, I just don't ever remember there being color. Yeah, there was some, but I don't know if it was that. It was that was it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We usually don't go in that section. Oh, oh, shoot! The alarm. I couldn't fall asleep last night. I was up, you guys. Watching my Korean show. I did not. So here's the thing with this Korean show. I'm on episode 10. It's called Little Women. It is so good. It's about money embezzlement and all the things. And it's about three sisters and money embezzlement. And their mother left them. And it is just insane. It's so good. I highly recommend if you guys like a good like mystery, like a who done it type of thing or like um I don't know. It it's just so good and it keeps you on the edge of your seat 
Like, what is going on? What's going to happen next? And it makes you want to, you know, watch that next episode. It is so good. Little Women. But it's the Korean version. And they do voiceovers. So you completely understand what they're saying. And it's not that bad. Um, But yeah. They have what? Voiceovers. Oh, I hate that. Oh my God, you're such a to... negative Nelly. I don't like that. I don't. Like I would rather do a voiceover than have to focus my eyes down below and well, read no, it, that. and then not even yeah, watch it because like, I'm reading it. A part that drives me nuts is because they the lips and the don't match. Well, don't look at the lips. Look at their eyes when they're talking. I don't be know. Like, they'll be saying one thing, but their lips are not. Well, because they're in, well, talking in Korea. I know. But they it's don't like so that. good. You need to watch it. It's so good. And like I said, I couldn't turn it off yesterday. I kept on wanting to watch the next episode to see what was going to happen. And how many seasons is this? I, just one. Oh. Yeah, but it's a, it's a long. Because I think when I got to, to episode seven... I was like, oh, there must only be one more episode left, right? There was only one more left. And then I got to eight, and I'm like, oh, maybe there's just one more left. And I got to nine. This and then Netflix. I got to ten. And it's like, oh, my God. It's like a cliffhanger. Like, what's going to happen? You said it's on Netflix? It's on Netflix, and it's called Little Women. Mark will get into it, too. It's good. It's really good. I love it. And oh. because of that writer's strike. Oh, yeah. Um, you we're forced to watch Korean shows now. But I'm all about it. I love it. I'm, I'm into it. And they're so good. And usually, like, with a Korean show, like, the end, the ending of, like, a series or whatever, like, the ending of a show or a movie... It, like, takes you on a journey, but at the end, it, like, wraps it all up in a nice little bow, and you're happy with the ending that it gives you. Where some of the American shows, it's like, oh, that's the ending. I just wasted two hours to watch this ending. You know what I mean? Does it tell you how many episodes? I'm trying to find out. Oh. Because I would die if... if because usually it tells you there's two more episodes left. And I'm on episode 10 and it didn't tell me that. It's not saying it here either right now. Uh-oh. They, they're tricking me. It's going to oh. go on forever. It's so good, though. Here, season one. Oh, season one. Are there more seasons? It doesn't look like it. Oh. Okay, here we go. How many episodes? Twelve. Oh, so I have two more episodes left. So good. It's so good. I really got into this one. Hmm. I'll have to check it out. It may, yeah, it's so good. Three sisters with the close bond who grew up in poverty. <coughs> yeah, they're poor. Yeah. Oh, this god dang eye. It's water like. Oh my god. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, um, guys, we got to get going upstairs. I was a little late in leaving. I thought I had more time, and I didn't. We have time. Yeah, we have time. That's true. We have time. That's true. Oh, I wonder what we missed yesterday, you guys. Judy and I got a paddock here, and I didn't I didn't record anything. We just wanted to relax. Just, um, with no light. It like, was a rainy day. It was yeah. Gloomy. Gloomy, rainy day. We just wanted to, so we got a pedicure and that felt so good because they like really massaged in the feet. And I used to hate getting pedicures. I yeah. just remember it was the first time, no, I'm never going to have anybody touch my feet. Right. And now it's like. Oh, it feels so good. And it really has helped, like, remember how we used to get the, your heels in the summer would get all cracky and gross. Yeah. That really hasn't happened. Uh-uh. If you get one like once every two months. I feel especially good... in the win like in the winter. In the summer, probably every six weeks or the so. The only but... thing is it's so hard because like in the winter then you gotta take your I shoes know. and socks off and then how do you leave? <laughs> well, and... we just had one, so if we get one in November. Yeah, we should be, be good. Okay. 
Yeah, but it's relaxing. $35, you guys, as at Coco Nail. Coco Nail. So and if sweet. you want to know who Judy and I go to, I go to um, Anna and Judy goes to Pam. So They're Anna nice. and Pam. And um, my Anna is pregnant with twins. She's going to be leaving for three months after she has those babies. Tiny babies. She's so tiny. tiny. She's so tiny. But she's so blessed. Yes. And they're so sweet. They're so they kind. Are. When we have followed them to three different locations, this is the third location. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I really like them a lot. Yeah, they're kind. Just a nice atmosphere. Yeah. So Coco Nail, it's on... As you're going into the Fox River Mall, it's right next to Plato's Closet. Um, so definitely go in there. And if you know what you want to get for your nails or whatever, make sure and have a picture. Yeah, yeah. They they can do anything, especially yeah. if you show them a picture. Yep. Yeah. And know that the owner's gonna yell at you and it's okay. It's just her tone. If you don't have a picture. If you don't have a picture and you don't know what you want. She wants to know what you want. Especially if you can't explain it. And, yeah, and if you can't explain it, she gets upset. Because <laughs> don't waste her time with your explaining of what you want. Show her. Show her picture. <laughs> I love it there. And then they have a dog, Benji. He sits in the chair. He, I Honestly, I think they gave him a little tranquilizer. Because he looked so doped up yesterday. Usually he barks at everyone who comes in. But yesterday, no. He oh, looked well, a little off. But we were there very early, too. Compared to true. We, he might be as... Um, compared to when we normally That go. is true. He could have been tired in the morning. Depending. Have, oh my, my eyes watering to the point where my underneath feels like it's getting raw. Shit. Uh-oh. You might have to go back to the doctor. What did they tell you when you I, went I, that one time? I can't remember. It hasn't had, I mean, they hurt, but I haven't had to go in for a while. But this one is just... Bad. I just hope that I don't get that crystallization. Then I have to go to an ophthalmologist. Right. <clears throat> is Dr. Hall still in season? I think she retired, but that's not who I went to. Oh. Because she was with Ascension. Oh, that's she's got to be retired by now, though. Yeah. She's got to be. Oh, I have a rash underneath my armpit. She's got to be. Did I tell you that? Because of itching? Yeah, she's got to be. Shit. Oh, I know my dad went to her when he had his eye issues. He got something in his eye. I can't remember. Well, her oldest daughter is my oldest son's age. Oh, okay. And then the second daughter is our two kids' age. Oh, okay. Oh. Alrighty, guys, we're gonna go. But she's been there forever. Forever and ever. I have to go to the grocery store after work today and pick up some salads. Picked up some veggies yesterday. Good job. Today I'm having blueberry ice cream. Oh, I should have forgot to grab my vegetables. I was gonna bring them to work with me today. And oh, I forgot no. them. Now what? Well. SOL. Wonder what we missed yesterday. Nothing. Huh? Nothing. Let's hope not. Hope we didn't miss anything. Well, if everybody else wants to show up, we know it. Yeah, something happened. Okay, bye guys. Have a good day.